Hello students, how are you all there? Thank you for watching this video. I'm your Chief Luigi from Usadi Shandrakar. I must tell you that I'm totally flattered from the numerous SMSs, remarks that I've got from you all. You are really great and wonderful. And I'm so glad that I was able to help you. Many of you all have commented that my video has helped you to understand chemistry in a much better manner. Thank you students, you have motivated me further. Students, I am also glad that many of you all have joined our Facebook group. Thank you. Now, those of you all who are listening, you could also become a member in our Facebook and you could watch more videos through our Facebook. Our Facebook address will be Pusat Tushan Rakan. Please join us, right? I would like to interact with you. And I have also given you some notes in our website. You can go to our website at www.rakan.edu.my. I put in a lot of notes for you to go and obtain. Please do that. Students, apart from that, today, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to go through with you the chapter of preparation of salt. You like that? Yeah, that's good. Now, this chapter is very important. Okay, and I hope that you stick until to the end so that you can learn from what I'm going to teach you today. Okay, so that's Now, preparation of salt. Alright? Preparation of salt. Okay? Now, in my previous video, I have already told you that basically all salts are, from, are formed from acid. There are four different ways that we can prepare our salt. Okay? Now, number one, acid plus with alkaline. Acid plus with alkaline. Number two, acid plus with metal oxide. Acid plus with metal oxide. Number three, acid plus with metal. Number four, acid plus with metal carbonate. Now students, I would like you to take note that in this process, acid plus metal, the metal must be more reactive than hydrogen in the metal reactivity series. What is metal reactivity series? I hope you know. If you don't know, I will just note it down here for you. Metal reactivity series is a series where metals are arranged in accordance to their reactiveness in reacting with oxygen. I repeat that. Metal reactivity series is a series of metals which are arranged according to their reaction with oxygen. Okay? So, number one would be potassium, next, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, tin, lead, copper, mercury, silver, gold, or we call it oral. Silver is argentum. Can you see that, students? This is metal reactivity series. I repeat again, students, for you. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, tin, lead, copper, mercury, silver, gold. This is metal reactivity series. In this metal reactivity series, carbon is positioned at this point here, carbon. And hydrogen is located at this point here. Can you see that, student? Also, carbon and hydrogen are not metal, but they are also put in into the metal reactivity series. Alright? Now, students, if you can take a look here, those metals which are above hydrogen, can you see? All this metal can displace hydrogen from acid. Can displace hydrogen from acid. So that means, if the reaction between acid and metal, those metal which can take part here will be potassium, sodium, 
calcium, magnesium, aluminium, and zinc. Because they are all located above hydrogen. All those metals below hydrogen cannot displace hydrogen from acid. Cannot. Please do take note of this. This is what I mean. Okay, students. And another point here, students. Here, metal and alkali. I'm sorry, acid and alkali. This method or both of these can be used to prepare only three types of salts potassium salt, sodium salt, and ammonium salt. Remember, students, yeah? I repeat myself again, students. Acid plus alkali. This method can only be used to prepare these three types of salts potassium, sodium, and ammonium, not other. So to prepare all the other salts, you can use any of this method. Can you see that, students? And I must tell you that this process is called neutralization. Acid plus alkali, this is called neutralization. And the method is called titration. Titration. Are you clear, students? This here, acid plus with metal oxide, this is also called neutralization. The process is called neutralization. There is no name of, for method, no. This acid plus with metal, this is called displacement reaction. Displacement reaction. Got it, students? So I basically simplified it for you so that you can understand in a better and an easier manner. Remember, students, this method or all these four ways that I've given you, these are all to prepare, to prepare <coughs> soluble salts. Are you clear, students? To prepare what? Soluble salts. Very good. Soluble salts. Okay, this method is used to prepare soluble salts. Okay, for insoluble salt, we use double decomposition method. That I will cover in another video. So, I hope you have benefited from what I have given you here. A simple understanding before we go more deeper into the chapter of preparation of salt. So, again students, Thank you for watching this video. Please look into our website at www.rakan.edu.my. Also, join us at our Facebook, Pusat Christian Rakan. Contact me if you want further detail at 012 680 5900. You could also join my weekend classes. I have every weekend, Saturday, Sunday classes. I have students coming from very far away, from Penang, from Kedah, from JB. You could also come and join and benefit from my teaching. I have a lot of simple and easy methods to teach you. You could benefit from my teaching. And please do not forget, tell your friends about this video so that they too can benefit students. Remember students, sharing is sharing. Okay students, so the reason for me doing this video is to help many of you out there who are having problem with your chemistry. I am also uploading teaching in physics, biology as well as admits. Please look into all those videos. You can just type Che Guru VJ. I repeat myself, Che Guru VJ in YouTube and you could look at all my videos. Alright students, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.